You know, as the pandemic continues, a growing number of people with COVID-19 have lingering symptoms. They're called long haulers. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl is here with one Montgomery County mom who's still struggling a year after being infected. Stephanie? Well, Yuki, there are some early indications that the COVID vaccine might be able to help people with ongoing issues. But right now, doctors say COVID long haulers can suffer with a variety of symptoms, everything from organ failure to hair loss. It was like such a nightmare. It's been a year since COVID-19 took over Lauren Thomas Mandel's family in Bluebell. At the beginning of this pandemic, you and your whole family come down with COVID. Down. Yeah. <laughs> it started with her husband who ended up being hospitalized. Then she started feeling symptoms. Had the headache, had the fever, the next day loss of smell, loss of taste had the body aches. Then her four children between the ages of 6 to 18 started getting sick. Thank God, I didn't have that 101, 102 fever like everybody else did. And now a year later, one son still can't taste or smell, and Lauren has a variety of lingering symptoms. I can't even believe a year later, so now I'm still struggling with breathing. Lauren is a long hauler, a COVID-19 patient with symptoms that don't go away. I wake up with headaches. Research shows 10 to 30 percent of COVID-19 patients have long-term symptoms that can include fatigue, brain fog, shortness of breath, and depression. We just don't know uh, how long those symptoms may go on and we may find some people that uh, really have permanent disability uh, because of this illness. It's unclear why some people have long-lasting COVID symptoms. Most recover completely. Lauren is using an inhaler and is determined to get better. There's no way I'm going to live like this for the rest of my life. I have too much life left. So sometimes I think I'm just going to wake up and it's all a bad dream and, you know, it'll be back to the way things were prior. And the most recent study on long COVID found 85% of those patients had four or more neurological symptoms. Yuki? Mm, Stephanie, thank you for that.